so it's just after nine o'clock and it's already 40 degrees hi i'm lavi and this is Oli. we are attempting a new guinness world record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle after riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> here we go. We're here in the camp. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 63 on our around the world trip. We are here in a beautiful palm area, a palmery. We made camp here last night in this beautiful little area. It was really, really peaceful, but it was really, really hot as well. And you yeah. can feel already the sun is just coming up and the temperature is rising. Yeah, it's already above uh, coming up to the mid 30s already this morning. It's yeah. insane the heat insane. here. And of course, we had a lot of dogs barking during the night. As always. <laughs> yes, yes. And some locals using actually uh, this road here to go in and out. So we had uh, quite quite a, a lot of activity going on, but you know, it was, it's still really nice. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are just about here, slightly north from Fomos Gate, at the very bottom of Morocco. And we are gonna be continuing our way on the N12, all the way through here, through here, through the very, very hot, hot it's all hot and we're going to be trying to finish today at tata so it's a much shorter day today than yesterday which was one of our longest days as well as our hottest days so far on the road um, today we're doing about 88 miles which is about 140 kilometers to reach uh, tata so it's seven o'clock now it's not getting any colder so better hit the road let's go all right so we got about probably a kilometer of this to get back to the main road. So we're going to drive that now and then Lavi's going to jump on when we get over there. Whee! <laughs> nice. Okay, and there is quite a bit of sand on this little road, but we'll give it our best shot. I'm getting a lift. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> All right. There we go. Oh, what a beautiful road to drive in the morning though. That's epic. Look at this. It's just the mountains in the background and all these palms around. That was a nice place to sleep even if it was massively hot. All right, a bit nicer. Oh look, here's a local on a bike. Sorry. I think I was on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh no. Oh, there we go. Back on tarmac. Nice, all right, Lavi's gonna jump back on and we're gonna hit the road. It's an absolutely beautiful morning. Yeah, what a time to be out on the road, on the bike. <laughs> it's 7.30 in the morning. Managed to get started pretty early, wake up with the sunrise. 
Yeah, I think I woke up at six, six o'clock. But I think everybody had a pretty hard, hard time sleeping. Yeah. Very hot. It just yeah. took such a long time to cool down. Yeah. Like, like at the time we actually went to bed, I think it was still in the mid 30s, 35, 36. And then it slowly crept down. But by six in the morning, it was still only about 30 degrees. So yeah, it never got cool. That's the thing. It never got nice and cool. So it was a bit of an interrupted sleep, but uh, it's okay, we're on the road now. Yeah, and it's 31 degrees at the moment. Yeah. So it's not too bad. But yeah, we thought we needed a bit of a shore today today. So Tata is only 86 miles away compared to 175, I think it was yesterday. Yes, yes. <laughs> Anius and Glenn only arrived two days ago into Agadir, they flew from France to Agadir and then they drove up to Tarudant to see us and then we're doing a little couple of days together driving around and then we'll split off tomorrow and they'll continue their way up to the mountains and uh, we'll continue our way south. Look here, there's a nice, beautiful group of camels on the edge of the road. <laughs> but they just spotted us and they're like, no guys, I'm turning around. <laughs> oh, there's one more. Oh, hello guys. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, they were a little wary of us and they've walked off a little bit, but look at them. Oh, I love them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Camel party! Look at this one there! Bye Camel! <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, amazing! Oh, they are so, so nice creatures! Yeah, they're just so peaceful and nice, you just want to stand around them the whole day and just observe them, just sort of slowly wandering around yeah just learn from them you know <laughs> yeah, it's amazing yeah this is a really special road here because this is pretty much the last road you can ride here in morocco in the south because we are just um we're just bordering on algeria here yeah i can actually see on the map the algerian border on the left hand side just down over there so we're actually very very close to the Algerian border probably under 50 kilometers from the Algerian border now yeah it's really cool really cool and it's a really good road as well <laughs> so yes. that's nice. it's just a beautiful open highway there's absolutely zero traffic it's just spectacular it is spectacular
So it's just after nine o'clock and it's already 40 degrees. I mean, it didn't stay cool for very long and it wasn't even cool to begin with, but basically we went from 7 a.m. We were at about 30, 32 and now nine, we we're at 40. Yeah, it's really crazy. It's a crazy, a crazy heat wave. Yeah, I mean, thank God that they have that Glenn and Agnes have the car and we have lots of water in the car yeah. so that we can keep dousing our t-shirts and uh, that we can keep up drinking our fluids because otherwise I think we'd be really suffering. Here we go, up ahead is the town of Tata and that marks the end of today's ride in basically 40 degree heat for the entire day. Uh, also we tried to charge the intercoms but the cable wasn't working so actually the intercoms have died so uh, it's just me going to talk to you at the moment because uh, Lavi can't hear nothing. But yeah, so we haven't booked a place or anything here in Tata. We're not sure if we're going to be camping or take a room. I would like a swimming pool. We did a wild camp last night, which was awesome. But it might be nice to have a, have a place with a pool this time. It's not even midday. It's only 11.30. So we did really well to leave at like 7 a.m. this morning. Now, here we go. Tata! So I think we have to stop here in town and we have to try to look and see what options for accommodation are available to us, figure something out, see where we're going to go. Okay, so we've uh, had a little look on Park for Night and we found a place with a swimming pool where we can do some camping. So I think everybody is up for that. So we're going to follow Glenn and Agnes in their Dacia Logan and uh, they've got the directions, they'll take us to the place. I think the first thing we'll do when we get there is throw our clothes off and jump in the pool. Whoa, okay. Whoa, that looks crazy. It looks like a five star. Let's change the price. Then. Good afternoon, guys. We made it happy and alive <laughs> to our place here. <laughs> yeah, so um, in the place that we stopped off at before, it turned out that they didn't have any camping anymore. They'd kind of stopped the camping thing, but they did have a really nice pool area. And they said if we bought a drink, then we could use the pool. So we got a coffee and we enjoyed the pool for a bit, which was absolutely refreshing and amazing. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing, especially the weather is, it's just so hot here and I get a really, really quickly a headache. Yeah. So it was, a, it was good for us just to stop, refresh, have a swim, yeah. cool down. 40 degrees from, you know, nine o'clock in the morning all the way through to the afternoon. Yes. It does start to wear on you after a while. So, yes. yeah. So we had the pool and then we asked them about what the room price was there and it was 600 dirham for a room. So that's like 60 euro, which is like way over our budget. So 
we went around the corner, had a look at some other places, and we ended up on this place, <laughs> which was 23 euro a night, 230 dirham. But look what this place has. It doesn't have a pool, but it does have this. <laughs> An air conditioning unit. <laughs> For the first time of our trip, yes. we've got aircon in a room, this is unbelievable. Yes, yes. <laughs> you can see we've set it to 18 degrees, but of course it's so hot outside, I don't think it's ever going to reach 18 degrees. In fact, it is still hot in here, yes. but you can feel it's probably like 30 something inside and you can touch the window. It's like the door of an oven. It's like 40, still 40 degrees out there at the moment, but it does have a nice view. So have a little look. Yeah, I don't want to open the window because I don't want to let the hot air in. Um, but yeah, beautiful view of the mountains. I think we will have a really good night tonight. I think so. So we did at the end 90 miles, which is 150 kilometers. That was enough for us for today. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, comment below, share the video with your friends and family. Please, please. We will see you next time.